Yes, it is. The Opie and Anthony Show. Hi. Having fun in the snow? I know New York City, the uh, kids didn't get school off. Aw. I was thinking about that because I had the Weather Channel on all night. I kind of fell asleep to it finally. After a marathon of watching nothing but murder shows. I'm addicted to those crime murder shows. I don't care which ones they are. The the one where they send detectives out to uh, solve a murder or just the old one, cold case files, forensic files. I can't get enough of that crap. And then on uh, MSNBC, uh, it was Hail. it was nothing but like p pedophiles all day yesterday. It was pedophile Sunday. Pedophiles. <laughs> MSNBC, my boy said, MS it, it, it's MSNBC is the is the fear channel for men. Oh like, yes, yeah, scared straight but channel. Just man fear on there. <laughs> it getting, is getting caught trying to pop a thirteen year old or like prison in, shows in the Iowa State Penitentiary. Yeah. Oh, you're in the Iowa State Penitentiary, and then it's just every. I've never seen one prison show. I, every time they put one on, I go, I think I've seen this one, because there's no distinction between Iowa Penitentiary one and Alabama and Alaska. No. It's the same no. show. There's you, the you, same you, lack of care yeah, in all, every prison. Yeah, they're sending the cert team in after this guy and spraying <laughs> his face and beating him silly. <laughs> Here's some tattooed gentleman. Do you ever get bummed out when you watch? Like, oh, no. I'm not. <laughs> I get a little. Not, not that I would ever commit a severe crime, but like, I get bummed out when I watch CSI and stuff, and I just realize you cannot commit crime anymore. No, it's no, it's over. It, that it's is over. over. It makes me sad a little I, bit. I think of the guy that's been sitting in his house, going to work for twenty, thirty years, and then. Hello, it's the police department. Oh. And it's like, what? I was 30. Think of your life 30 years ago and then try to imagine, like, what you did just hanging out one night and then thinking, like, paying consequences for that now. Well, Are they getting DNA off a BTK. cup or something? Yeah, yeah. BTK could have, if he wasn't an ass. Yeah. Oh, he, he had He'd a, still be true. Braggart. Out. Same as uh, Bundy. Bundy got caught and the Green got River and the Green River Killer. I didn't know how he got caught. But all those and, guys, and, it, that's uh, their whole mo. Uh, Henry Lee Lucas and Otis too. They all are asses. That's their whole mo, though. They they want they enjoy not only the 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 crime, committing the murder and stuff. They enjoy that publicity. That they huh? enjoy seeing their name in the paper Wait, or the. Btk their, their wasn't character. killing again though, was he? Was he? No, killed? he wasn't killing again. No, 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 he had to open his yap though. Yeah, he was this fool. Twenty years later, he's he's a yeah. fool. BTK sent it, sent a letter on the uh, computer, and they found him on a on the computer uh, disk. They found a computer, and who was on it at the time where yeah. he was sending it from the the church? But before he was sending those things like. He would cut a K out of, yeah, uh, one of, those out of hack, Ebony Magazine. The hack notes. Uh, yeah. Those days are over. <laughs> he would cut a U. And he, would, he would put together a whole, I murdered her with with a, uh, with two, like, w w the, 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 the damn uh, 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 tweezers. Yeah. Tweezers and a hot knife and just yeah. cut and Remember? make sure no fingerprints was now on. Now they're just Remember? like, you know, we've we've found out what scissors were used to yeah. cut the magazine, yeah. and we've narrowed it down to one store where we checked the surveillance camera video yeah. and found... Those were the good old days where you could slice up a Vibe magazine and make a ransom, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> make a ransom note out of it. No what one happened, getting away with that. What in the days of John Doe where he could just <laughs> no John go Doe back anymore. and forth to the to the supermarket and make a fat man eat until the stomach burst? <laughs> <laughs> And I could just, I could just write in my in my little diary all day long. I was sitting there, I was looking at some jerk in the train. He tried to talk to me. I threw up on my lap. I could just, I could have a library full of my crimes. Right. Never... I could have a man. I'm paying a man's rent. I could cut off his hand, and I could spell "help me" in the back of a yeah. of a picture. It just never be able to do that's that. from the movie Seven. That's those are the good old days. <laughs> Literal Jim. You'll never again be able to nail some lady's feet to your kitchen floor and then just, and then just conduct business for a week. The good old days when you can cut a slice of fat from a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> and not get caught. Uh, but they, there's a lot of unsolved crimes. Yeah, around, you know what? Man. But that, one of those shows, the uh, uh, cold, cold case TV. files, they show like this uh, one pain in the ass cop has to look at a box on one board. Sees board one day and he's like, ah, 
Yeah, the old Johnson file. Let me let me pull this off of this top dusty shelf. And he opens it up, and they find some hair. And this he goes, "Ah, send this for a DNA." And then, and nowadays they don't want to. People don't even want you to think that you can possibly get away with something. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell you who got away with the crime: the Zodiac killer. I watched oh, yeah, the yeah. movie. Mm -hmm. They're implying that this is the guy. But they never found yeah. the guy. Is who he was alive? The, still the guy they think it was? No, the guy they think it was. They're saying he's dead, but it ain't the guy. Yeah, there were a couple of those uh, big serial killers that just kind of eh, disappeared. Or, or Zodiac the just. Dying, you're like, yeah, well, that, mm, probably not really the guy. Zodiac worked it at like Joker proportions. <laughs> I mean, he yeah. was just toying with the authority. I mean, if you believe. That well, yeah. what happened in the movie really happened with All Robert Downey Jr. But I mean, it was random. Uh, it's incredible, man. It's just be incredible. random. A random, random, a with random killing without the whole. Like, if I'm not dumb enough to just go kill black women, because yeah. that's the profile. It's gotta be random. It's just random anything. You think you could get away with uh, if you were like so inclined to uh, yes. get away with serial killing? Absolutely, no one would think. See, they would be expecting me mm -hmm. to kick a door in and rape a family. Yeah. Um, if I just strangled a little old Chinese lady in Chinatown who was uh -huh. collecting cans, yeah. who would know? With some gloves on? Who's gonna know? Who, no one would know. With no, uh, you get a hair on you with DNA now. It's a Chinese hard. girl's hair? I was just there. Was, so I was on a train. Weird. Yeah, you get a one of her one of her dead Chinese girl's hair. <laughs> mm -hmm. You'd end up with a dumpling and a spare rib in your. <laughs> no, in your I pocket. wouldn't get caught. It ran, just random. You got to be no. random where there's, I guess, not much physical contact, uh, far away from where you reside. Uh, or, you know, in, in various places. First of all, places. can I say this? Yeah. I, I, I watch a lot of these shows like yeah. we all do. I have a record, so it, 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 would, it would be weird. But if you didn't have a record, mm -hmm. you can do anything. Yeah, no fingerprints. Because there's or... no, they would have to catch you and suspect you uh -huh. before they would test you for anything. That's true. So you can have anything. You can, the, beat, the, the, the Green River Killer... His sperm was everywhere. <laughs> on trees. It was just, it was, it was just <laughs> trees. It was just, it was just protoplasm <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. But so what? They have Unless some you have dude's something to compare thing. it to. Yeah, exactly. You have to have a, 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 a criminal yeah. to go with all this, mm -hmm. all this <laughs> semen. <laughs> how, did, how did anybody get caught on fingerprints before computers? Cops would just sit there with a magnifying glass and look at a book? Uh, yep. How did Isn't you ever crazy? get caught? Oh yeah. yeah, this one has a ridge like that one in the book. I, how? I I don't know. I don't that, get it. that is amazing. You were dumb. Computers, you just had to go through file cabinets full of yeah. Was it fingerprints? It was just like the big photo album books. And you yeah. Just... I guess they would be like you know if if there was a robbery, you check the mo, you check a bunch of things to probably try to narrow down as many people as you could, and then just take the people that fit the mo, and then check their. Uh, Oh, check their fingerprints. You wouldn't check like you know. You wouldn't check a rapist for a uh, burglary. Yeah, you have a nice Something like that. Yeah, you have a rape binder. Right, you have your rape fingerprints. <laughs> you know, these are. <laughs> and, and, and also, when you look at profiles, uh, uh, the you, you take the uh, the DC snipers. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that was we all thought. Oh, have, was, have white guy written all over. It was, sure. and, and it was, and he was a genius. Big Marine. Too. They thought this was this guy built his own helicopters. <laughs> right. And uh, they didn't know it was just a lazy Negro <laughs> oh, and, and a Buick Century. Buddy. And and uh, and ultimately, they they got caught because of that, because it was because snitches. A lot of people look. How'd they get caught? Sn a snitch. Um, a dude, mm. a, a a a old girlfriend of him. His new boyfriend, I think, snitched on him. He was snitched on. They got snitched. It was John Muhammad's old girlfriend, new boyfriend, knew he, he was doing it. Yes, no, had a said this guy is could be the guy. He probably told her like oh, one of these days. Yeah, she go around she was like that's John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She snitched on him, and and the uh, the the explosive guy, the 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 bomber, yeah, the bomber, the bomber. Take his, his yeah. family, his brother yeah, snitched brother. on him, yeah. and I, and that's the thing. A, a lot of people get tips, but I tell you, like I always said, I, there's few people I'm loyal to, like like to that level. I think, you know, my mother. I would if she, I think my mother could blow up a bus with children, and I wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't. I wouldn't. Out. I if I knew she did it, I'd go. Oh boy, mums. 
You know what you do? <laughs> Come on, you blow. You can't be blowing up buses with children. <laughs> but I would try to distance myself a little bit from her. Yeah. So I didn't know. So if they did catch her, I go ah. But it, could you be the guy that you're the one that sends your mother to jail for the rest? She's gonna go to court. She's gonna be sent to some lady prison for the rest of her life. Yeah. And I don't. I don't. I couldn't do it. And so, but a lot of these dudes, they they snitch on. They a lot but of. But then, how would you happened. feel if she? Blew up another bus, and then you. I'd like, be nervous then, oh, but I damn, still. I, I don't think my mother could do anything. Yeah. For me wow, to got, snitch. I've actually left drugs loyalty. in my mother's desk. <laughs> and called the FBI. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure if I could go. My mother has been blown up the bus the children's buses yeah that's something when you know. get somebody like uh well uh, it's usually these estranged people anyway kind of like kaczynski and his brother weren't you know at thanksgiving dinner every uh year together he recognized his writing yeah they put out the, the manifesto yes. in hopes that somebody would recognize the writing and, and it worked yeah that's that's how they got him i would always turn somebody in just out of the fear that if i didn't they would say that i was an accessory or something or that i was covering or yeah aren't you always scared of that it's like yeah you gotta tell yeah mm -hmm. i would i would absolutely turn somebody i, I don't was, care i was petrified one day because uh uh this these two guys i knew uh had had a uh one of these low-end Stock uh, race cars that they used to take out to Jersey and, mm. and race at the strip out there, and uh, they knew some guy who had a better car. So they stole his car, took the good parts off of it, and then burnt it in the woods. And I knew that this was going to happen because one of the guys told you me you knew it. He, yeah, okay. He said he, he I wasn't involved, but I knew it was happening. They told me we're going to steal this guy's car and just take the parts. I go, what are you, you crazy? What are you going to do with the car? I'm going to take it into the woods, just dump gas on it and burn it. I was like, you guys, I go, I don't, I, I, I want no part of this. I go, I don't even, I, I'm not even happy you told me. So I'm sitting there watching TV. I'm sorry. And I hear sirens in the background. And, and I was like, because I knew when they were going, where they were dumping it and everything. And I just hear the sirens from the fire department. And I'm like, oh my god, I I know about this. But what if then like you I feel like what if they like, had to start doing the good fellas um yeah, covering yeah. up just and they just find like you find frozen you an ice carboni <laughs> <laughs> frozen <laughs> carbone hanging up in the meat truck. Just kill you just Yeah, yeah just nice like ice pick you know, throat. Anthony knows <laughs> about this. Maybe we you told him. Why would you tell yeah. me that? Yeah. That's what I was pissed that they told me. I'm like, Did I don't caught? wanna know. Yeah, they got caught. Thank they God, because I'm saying this conversation now is implicating. Nah, it's statute of limitations. It's a long time ago. And they didn't give you any pressure to jump in? This sounds like, I, I like this 1950s standby me crime. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> You're in yeah. out. What are you, chicken, Anthony? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I wanted no part of it. I don't know I don't know why they told me, but uh, but they, they told me everything, what they were going to do. They were, oh, yeah, we're taking the parts. I hate that mother F, you know, I'm going to take his car. And when you said no, they were just like, okay. They didn't even ask me to get in. They, oh, they were just, that was it. They were just telling okay. me, like, hey, guess what we're doing tonight? They go, what, hanging out? You going, you know, drink some whiskey or something in the woods? What, what are you doing? Oh, no, we're going to steal a car and burn it. Hey, thanks. <laughs> I gotta sit here shaking, thinking the cops are gonna knock on the door, and then I gotta try to look like I don't know. Like I was expecting the cops to come to the door, and then me going, now, like, I don't know anything. I had to try to seem like I didn't know anything, but I did know anything, and now, then I'd be screwed. Is that because of of the code of not snitching, or you just didn't want to be involved? Like didn't want to be involved, and and if I knew something. I didn't know if I would, could be implicated as now, what, having would you, would pre you, knowledge. Would, would you have done time? Would you have snitched if you had to? I, if I would have if had they, to go. If they said you've been implicated. <laughs> <laughs> your buddy Anthony's oh. down there singing like a pigeon. I was like, hey, I didn't yeah. ask. I didn't Wait, ask man, to be what told. What could your mother do? You love your mom. Yeah. What is the most your mother can do, and you mm. won't snitch on her? Um, yeah, I'm probably in the same boat as you. I wouldn't. Uh, I just turn my head and make believe nothing happened. No matter how violent and horrible. Sink into a bottle of something and not talk about it. Push it to the back of my head like it never happened. Would you do time for your mom? Uh, boy, that's a tough one. No. You know, she's, she's, <laughs> no way. She's 69 years old. You know? 
She's had a great life. <laughs> exactly. She's not going to get brutally raped in jail. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See my ass, See? Mom? <laughs> Some girl prison. Mom, she'll be dead in six years. Don't worry about that. You'd go to prison for your mom? No. Okay. All right. I wouldn't sit in a prison. Line. But boy, no. No. I'm, I'm not going to prison I wouldn't for my mother, no. even visit my mother in prison. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but if I I wouldn't either because if I visit my mom, she's just sitting there frail in prison. I just that would be, be like, bad. Whoa, man, I feel hurt. I want to. I try to break her out. Oh yeah, but because you can't get that much time for you can break, break anyone out. out. Sure you can, man, well, especially baby. your mom. Like, you need <laughs> yeah. someone who's kind of nimble. And... Here's the plan, baby. Yeah, you tie a, a big bomb with like a little string on it outside the prison wall. <laughs> circle bomb. <laughs> tie it <with laughs> round five versus five. Tie a stagecoach <laughs> to the bars. <laughs> of the oh, I say, mom. I say, listen. <laughs> All right, I need you to go and first get some plaster. Make a make a plaster head of yes. yourself. I need you to get a raincoat, and I need yeah. you to go get the England sisters, yeah. and I need y'all to tie some stuff together. Get a job in the barber barber shop. <laughs> Yeah. No, the greatest the greatest breakout is Lex Luthor in Superman, where he makes the hologram. The hologram of himself on the chest. <laughs> yeah, it's just looks over. <laughs> Hey, Luther, I said lights out. Hey, Patrice's mom, I said lights out. That is a good one. I, think, I think I would not do time for my mom. Yeah. I would definitely never, under no, I, if I was in a room uh -huh. and they were um, putting the, the, the bright light in my face and I'm sweating, uh, did your mother blow up a school bus? Yeah. I don't know. No, I don't know anything about it. No. No, she didn't. I, I, I probably would risk going to jail because I didn't and... snitch, you know what? But I though? wouldn't go. I wouldn't go to jail for a crime. If I'm you're committed. up to that point where you're in an interrogation room, you're folding. <laughs> yeah, but I've watched more of those shows. They get these hardcore mother. They get them in these interrogation rooms. I mean, tatted up, pipe hitting brothers in there, murdering sons of bitches, and. Before, like, they were in there for eight hours sometimes, 10 hours. And, and at the end, the guy's Sleep like, deprived. I didn't mean to kill the man. I didn't mean to kill the man. Crying their but eyes out. But Just that's yeah. NYPD, not in real life. No, real life. No, this is, you ever see no. these dudes and they go 35 first, years to life first and the dude just pops his collar? And says, give me, oh, there give, me some that, of give me that tea right there. Let me go do this time. You know what it is? The smart guys are the ones that lawyer right up. They go, well, a lawyer, you've never seen the rest of the show. These other guys are blabbing, and you see these hardcore mothers after eight, ten hours of interrogation, they're crying, going, the going on, I didn't mean to shoot him. <laughs> and then the guy gets up, walks out, and just goes, but yeah, you know I what? Him. You ever been really tired? <laughs> you're crying. If you're really tired, you'll say you did something just so you can sleep. Yeah, that's what yeah. that's how they get these guys. It's the wrong. Main, you, uh, they I'll, did I'll do tell it. You, the, the best case of of not taking time badly. I think he was the leader of the Latin Kings. One of those guys. Oh yeah. When he got he got convicted, something happened in court. He stood up in court and urinated on the floor <laughs> in court. That's awesome. That's a guy who really made a statement oh, to the judge. Man. That's awesome.